Okay guys, so the next functionality you want to bring into application is actually implementing a like and unlike functionality. And to do this, I'll just be using the basics of Laravel relationships so that our, our post would have many likes and that like would also be belong to a user. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we're going to do this in application. And uh, in the terminal, I'll just go ahead and create a new model. And this model is going to be the like model. So PHP assign make model and I'll call this like and with that I need a migration. Okay, it's created. So right into our migration, which is the create likes table migration. Right here, we're just going to have a field. And this field is going to be for the user. Okay, so a like belongs to a particular user. So I'll just say integer and this is going to be the user's ID. The next field we want to take care of is actually the post that this like belongs to. So I'll just say integer and this is going to be the post ID. Okay, so let's go ahead and define these relationships in our model. So I'll say like.php. And right here, I'll just go ahead and say a like belongs to a post. So public function and I'll say post and I'll say return this like belongs to a post. Okay. And uh, for the reverse relationship in our post.php, since a like belongs to a post, a post can have as many likes as possible. So right here, we're going to have a method called likes. So I'll say public function and this will be likes and I'll say return this has many a like. Okay, so that looks great. And uh, for our user model, the user who actually created that like. So in our user.php, right here would we'll say, or actually in our like.php, right here we'll also define a user method. So we'll say public function user. And uh, right here we're just gonna return this also belongs to a user model. Okay, so that should suffice to be able to implement likes in our application. Now, the next thing we need to implement is the, the, the possibility for the user to actually create a like. Okay, so he's going to hit that like button and we're going to create a new record for like in our database. So I'll go ahead and migrate that to my database. So PHP understand migrate for a likes table and that's done. And I'll create a possibility for a user to like a post in my view component. So I'll go to my feed.view. So right here in my feed.view, what I'm going to do is actually just write out how I would like this functionality to be and then I'm gonna go ahead and implement that okay so what I would like is a field or a statement that gives the names or the avatars of each user that has liked that post okay so right here remember what we are in the v4 statement of the post so we are looking for all the posts at this point and we are displaying the content right here so immediately after the content what i would like to do is actually display an avatar or avatars of all users who have liked this post so i'll just put a horizontal line and uh, right after the content i will just display a set of avatars so I'll just say image and just so we have an avatar to see what is going on, I'll just bind this to the post, the user, the avatar, and I'll give it a width of 20 pixels and a height of 20 pixels. Okay. So what I want is a whole lot of these images. Okay. So I'm going to have them right there. Okay. So I'll have a loop that is going to generate all the avatars of everybody that liked this post right here and the next thing I'm going to do is also be able to show the user if he can like the post or unlike the post. Okay. So what I'm going to do right here is show a button, that button, that button extra small and this is going to be like post. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and say this should be a button info. Okay. So right here what I'm doing is just printing out how I would like this functionality to look like and uh, later on we're going to make it work. Okay, so let's run gulp. So I'll say gulp. Okay, so let's preview this in the browser. Okay, so this is the type of functionality I want to implement. I want to have a button that says like post. And if the user has actually already liked that post, then the button shouldn't be displayed. And uh, right here, I'm going to have simply the avatars of everybody who has liked that post. Okay, so looks like we're going to be fetching all our likes from the database. And we're going to check if the user is actually one of those people who liked the post. Okay, so we'll check if the user is one of those people who like the post, then this button is not going to be displayed. But if the user did not like the post, then he's going to see this button. And as soon as he clicks this button, his avatar is going to add right here and the button is going to disappear. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how that would work in the next video.